Hello. Today, the 16th of May, 2012, we are celebrating a hundred year birthday. A hundred years of the Wildlife Trust. Back in 1912, Charles Rothschild's inspiration created the Society for Protection of Nature Reserves. He saw that there was a change in the British Isles and it wasn't a change for the better. We were losing our natural environment at a dramatic rate and he started this wave of nature reserves which has gone on to develop into what you see today with the Royal Society of Wildlife Trusts. 47 of them around the UK. Where am I right now? Am I, am I in the heart of deepest rural England? No, I'm in the heart of London. Gunnersbury Triangle. I'm surrounded on three sides by railway tracks. You might well hear a train some point in, in the background. But isn't it magnificent? that as well as trains and aircraft, I can hear a wren singing, I can hear a great tit. Just here, there's a family of blue tits that are fledged on a black cap, a migratory bird that's come from Africa and it's chosen to come here. Why? Because the space is here to allow them their freedom and their life. And it's not just about them, it's about us. Because I, for one, and I hope you too, are the better for being in an environment like this. I can walk off the high street and into this oasis and feel the richer for it. The Wildlife Trusts are supporting, <laughs> come and have a look, you've got to look down here. They're supporting the natural world. Hello friends. <laughs> like this, right across the United Kingdom with the 47 Trusts. There are real opportunities here to make a difference into the future. Up until now, every generation has seen a rather poorer balance sheet than the previous genera generation when it comes to looking at what we have done to the natural world. We have an opportunity here to see a very different picture. With this generation, by joining the trusts to ensure we have a living landscape and a living sea, you can make a difference. What does a living landscape mean? It means that these oases, these natural reserves, are connected they're connected with a vision that is not only aspirational, but it could be a reality, and it could be a reality in a generation. The same goes for our seas, marine conservation zones. If you lobby, if you make your voice heard by writing to your MP, or by simply joining your local wildlife trust, you will be making a difference. You'll be making a difference so that we and future generations can enjoy this beauty, this natural magnificence. It's good for us, it's good for the natural world, frankly it's good for the economy and everybody loves all three in the same bucket. Join your local trust, thank you very much.